Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to quickly reveal why your cholesterol levels being high has very little to do with the cholesterol foods you eat or have been told not to eat. It's basically a big myth. I also reveal proven ways to have healthy cholesterol levels with no change in diet or exercise, which is exactly what my parents have been doing for years. Now, speaking about my parents, back in 1999, over 20 years ago, my parents did a blood test for life insurance, and then both of them came back with high cholesterol. So each of their doctors independently gave my parents the same diagnosis and solution. The first was reduce and stop eating foods that contain cholesterol, such as animal proteins, whole eggs, fried foods, butter, and so forth. And secondly, take cholesterol-lowering statin drugs. Now, both my parents, they followed the prescriptions, you know, the doctor's prescription, especially taking the drugs because, hey, it was simple and it's easy to do with just one pill a day. Now, the end result after about six months is that their cholesterol levels did drop. So that's the good news. The unfortunate part is that they had lots of negative side effects, such as like bad sleep or poor, you know, insomnia and all that stuff, uh, muscle weakness. They became a bit forgetful, especially my mom. Uh, they had bone and joint pain. Basically, they just started to feel older. So to make a long story short, I got them off the drugs because I knew it wasn't going to be a long-term solution. And I put them on just natural herbs and supplements and so forth. That um, and, and they've had just healthy cholesterol levels since. And I'll tell you more about that stuff in a little bit. Of course, these days, we all know about the negative side effects of those cholesterol-lowering statin drugs. However, most people still think that eating dietary cholesterol found in the food is bad for you and can increase your blood cholesterol and cause heart problems. Unfortunately, again, as stated earlier, this is wrong information and it's a myth from maybe 50 years ago. The newest research clearly shows the opposite, in fact. Okay, so how does the dietary cholesterol that you eat from the foods actually affect your blood cholesterol, you know, when you do a blood test? Basically, the amount of cholesterol in your diet and the amount of cholesterol in your blood are very different things. Although it may seem logical that eating cholesterol would naturally raise blood cholesterol levels, it usually doesn't work that way. Basically, the body tightly regulates the amount of cholesterol in the blood by controlling its production of cholesterol from within your body, a lot of it through your liver. This is because almost every cell in the body needs cholesterol. It's vital for your survival. It's vital for hormone production and so forth. So when your dietary intake of cholesterol goes down from the foods you eat or don't eat, your body actually makes more cholesterol on its own because remember, it needs the cholesterol to survive. Now, when you eat greater amounts of cholesterol from your diet, you know, from different foods, your body then makes less cholesterol because it's already getting it from the foods you eat. Because of this, foods high in dietary cholesterol have usually very little impact on blood cholesterol levels in most people. Yes, some people due to their genetics are hypersensitive to cholesterol found in foods, so they need to pay more attention. Interestingly, even though dietary cholesterol slightly increases LDL in these genetically sensitive individuals, it does not seem to actually increase their risk of heart disease. In fact, lowering your cholesterol levels too low, especially with drugs, can definitely make life a lot harder to live and far less enjoyable from the side effects that I mentioned earlier. And no, based on the newest research, you may not actually live any longer. Now, before I continue, let's quickly recap what we've learned so far. The first is that cholesterol is vital for your survival. You need it, especially as it relates to hormone production and cell production and all this stuff. Secondly, eating more dietary cholesterol does not increase blood cholesterol for most people. Of course, this doesn't mean you should go out and eat dozens of eggs every day and, and tons of processed you know, meats and, and junky food, all right? So let's keep that part clear. Now, before I talk about the action plan for today, let's talk about dietary cholesterol and actually heart disease. Contrary to popular belief, heart problems, such as having a heart attack or stroke, is not only caused by cholesterol. Far from it. Many factors are, are involved, one of the biggest being inflammation. Other important factors would be high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and thus diabetes, and of course, smoking. Now, keep in mind the simple fact that aging, all right, and the negative changes in your hormones 
are massive issues and causing factors of health problems, all right? So aging and negative hormonal changes is always gonna be a big problem. The bottom line is that many high quality studies have shown that dietary cholesterol is not associated with an increased risk of heart disease. And I mentioned whole eggs earlier since it's high in cholesterol and everyone is warned not to eat them, all right? Including my parents even to this day. However, a lot of research has been conducted on eggs specifically, and all the studies have shown that eating them is not associated with an elevated risk of heart disease. What's more, eggs may even help improve your lipoprotein profiles, which could lower your risk. And I've posted all the clinical studies below this video for your convenience and reference. So there you have it, eating pasture-raised whole eggs and maybe grass-fed meats and so forth is not going to raise your cholesterol for most people in any negative ways. And if you're one of the rare genetically sensitive people to saturated fats and cholesterol, my suggestion is to reduce but not necessarily eliminate these, you know, nutritious foods. However, I would recommend you reduce or eliminate processed foods and meats and simple sugars and carbs. Basically, eat as healthy as possible, as naturally as possible. All right, so let's talk about the action plan and what my own parents have been doing for 20 years. Again, I'm not a big fan of drugs because I think they're overkill and have too many side effects for most people. I think diet and exercise and a healthy lifestyle is obviously very important, but for most people, it's just hard to follow, all right? And that's the biggest challenge when it comes to lifestyle. This is why my own parents have been using a natural herb uh, solution, vitamin and so forth. It's called Cholesterol Optimizer. They've been using the formula since 1999 to help promote healthy cholesterol lipid profiles within a normal range. It's not high or low. It's fast acting, it's easy and convenient to use and has a proven track record so you know it's healthy to use. Now I'll put the direct link to Cholesterol Optimizer including a 47% discount if you wanna give Cholesterol Optimizer a try. And the best part is that it's guaranteed results or you get a full refund plus $100 cash back if you don't get the results. That's why I love it. Now, below this video in the description area, I've also put links for additional information and videos all about improving your cholesterol levels naturally, quickly, and without negative side effects. If you found this helpful, please share it with a friend, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please click the notification icon. And let me know below in the comment section what you learned, what types of information you want for future videos related to this topic. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I wish you a very happy and healthy day.